Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Camsley and you can call me Cam and today we are doing a build video. I am testing out the new build kit. Last time um, I was playing around with the new Grunge Revival cast kit and now it's time to do the build one. Uh, so the description that The Sims has given the book nook kit is Relax in a plush, cozy space and get lost in a good story with the Sims 4 Book Nook Kit. Create the perfect spot to curl up after a long day or to enjoy a sunny afternoon. Design your Sims Book Nook to be their favorite spot in the house. The kit features Reader's Retreat, Arrange stackable bookshelves and decor in a way that suits your Sims style, whether that means a light-filled window seat or a cozy hideaway in the corner. Uh, comfy and cozy, sink into a good book and a cushy sofa. This kit features plush seating with soft, relaxing accents that'll help your sim unwind. Um, yeah, so I mean, just general impressions after building with this kit. Um, I do like it. Um, I'm not 100% sold on if it's like my favorite. I don't know. I feel like it's I, I know I mentioned when I did the Grun Revival kit that cast kits usually aren't my thing. I do tend to prefer build kits, but at the same time, it's like hard for me to like enjoy or fully see a, a build kit as worth it. I don't know how to explain it. Cause a lot of me is just like, this could have been included in another pack, which is true for cast kits too. But for some reason I feel more strongly about that with build kits. <laughs> um, but that being said, I do think that this has a lot of items that you could use in many builds, whether it's, you know, your Sims home or you want to do a library like I'm going to be doing. This is a little library that I'm building or you wanted to make a bookstore or a cafe or like a home office. Um, you really could use a lot of these items. The couches um, in particular are really nice. I really like them. Um, I don't know. Part of me just kind of feels like, I don't know, like it, there could have been more is my general feel here and I don't know why I'm more critical of that when it comes to build kits than cast kits even though I like build kits more. It's a very confusing situation to be in. I'm aware of that. <laughs> anyway, um, what I do like about this kit though and the items that we do have is I really appreciate the swatches. I know we've gotten um, like with the high school years and then I think the pastel pop kit and then I think those are the most recent build stuff. Um, I mean, aside from growing together, but even then I feel like a lot of the stuff we've gotten has been like bright and pastels and very colorful. And so this has a lot more neutral swatches. Um, and I really like that couch that I just placed in particular. I think the swatches that they chose between like the wood and then the couch and then the pillows are all really nice. I can see myself using this couch quite a bit. Um, the clutter is good. It's not bad clutter by any means. Again, I just, I don't know. I feel like there's something missing and I can't figure it out. Part of me is like, I feel like I would have really loved a fireplace with this kit. I feel like that's a weird thing to get stuck on right now, but that <laughs> to say like, I would have loved this 10 out of 10 if it came with a fireplace, but I, I don't know. I <laughs> kind of wanted a fireplace with this. <laughs> it's kind of weird to say, but, um, yeah, I mean, all that being said, if you're someone who you really like to build, um, this probably would be something that you would use a lot, especially the modular um, kind of bookcases that I kind of stacked up against the wall there, which I'm going to change eventually. But for right now, enjoy it as it is. <laughs> um, I think you might enjoy it. I will say I do have a lot of Sims that they tend to be authors, whether freelance or in the writer career. And I do like these little clutter items that I'm putting up where it's like books that are kind of like um, displayed in a special way. And then there's also um, some art pieces that specifically have those same book covers like framed. I do think it's really cool if you have like a writing sim or a, a sim who has published books, you could almost kind of like add that slowly to their office to kind of highlight, you know, these are the books that they wrote and now they get to display them in their office or at their home. And I do like that. That is probably something I will do next time I play with a sim who is a writer one way or the other. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know what it is because I know a lot of people love this kit and I, I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's because so many of the items are bookshelves that it just feels like there could be something more. Like when I think of something like the pastel pop kit, which I think is my favorite build kit. Um, like we got like a bed, we got tables, we got decor, we got 
um, lights. We got, I just felt like there was more variety of the items we got. So it felt like it was bigger, even if the actual number of items we got is probably about the same. Maybe that's what it is. So much of these are just bookshelves, <laughs> which isn't bad. I mean, that's what the kit is. But um, again, is it worth the, the five bucks? I don't know. I enjoy these items though. So maybe it is. If I enjoy the items and I like playing with them, maybe it is worth the five bucks. You be the judge uh, of your own budget and what is and isn't worth it. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm pretty much just going to be building a library. It's base game and book nook kit only. So if that's all you have, you will be able to place this in your world. I'm putting it in Willow Creek, but it's a small, it's on a 30 by 20 lot, but it's a small little book. Um, I almost said bookstore, a uh, library that you could probably put it even on a smaller lot and just kind of adjust the outside as needed. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and be quiet and let y'all enjoy. And I will touch back with you um, later. Okay, bye. Enjoy.
Okay, and I am back. I have returned. Um, I had to like pause while I was like partway through building. And so I just, you saw, I was like trying to figure out, I wanna put a ladder up there. And then I was like, maybe I could just do some stairs outside. And just for now, I left that desk up there, which honestly, part of me wants to release a version of this where it is just the desk up there and there's no way to get up there. Um, and that can kind of be like a fun little prison for some Sims that you don't like. You can just trap them up there and then maybe they'll die. And then this could be a little haunted um, library, which I think would be really unique and fun and classic for the Sims. But I have instead decided to not make a prison. This is just a library. Um, we don't even have a prison lot type yet. Yet. <laughs> yet. Can you imagine? Get, what would it be called? Uh, get arrested? That would be a fun game pack. Sims? Listen, I've got ideas for game packs and you should just hire me. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. I am going ahead and putting some stairs down here um, so that we have more of a study area upstairs and downstairs is just kind of for book browsing. Um, I also thought about making the upstairs like a kid place, like friendly for kids, but I really wanted, if I was gonna do that, I think I would want to use more packs because the base game kid stuff I don't love. Um, so, but I wanted to do base game and book nook only for this. I cannot say book nook very quickly, <laughs> my tongue like refuses. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of changing some stuff around. I'm sorry if you liked how it was before. Maybe I will still upload. I have a version of the previous where it's prison library um, saved. So maybe I'll upload both and you guys can pick and choose. Um, instead, you get to watch me struggle with these gosh darned modular bookshelves. That is one thing. And it's the same with uh, like the corner cabinets some of the times where like you try to place it, but it can only be placed against certain things in certain ways. And so it's like kind of finicky, um, but I figure it out eventually. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. I got it. I got it. I'm a, I was gonna say I'm a professional, but I'm not. It's, let's just face it, everyone. Um, but yeah, so I mean, again, there isn't much more to say at this point. Um, whether you think this kit is worth it is whether or not you really like to have bookcases in like your Sims homes, um, or you really wanna use like libraries like these. I will probably use the clutter and the furniture more than I will the actual book stuff. Um, so if you like the kind of style of the, um, like the lamps and the plants and the candles and the little trays, I will say the one thing that I'm probably gonna use the most is the little tray that has like a book and a coffee mug. I can't believe we haven't had that yet. It's such a simple little thing and it's great. Um, I also realized as I was putting the upstairs here that I didn't use any of the, I was gonna say bookshelves, but they're all bookshelves. The, the actual like shelf that looks like a book and it has this description that implies that it's made out of cake, which, okay, <laughs> I'm not including it because it's really embarrassing. But when I first started playing around with these items to see like what I liked, these things I'm putting up now, I didn't realize these were shelves because I just had like show all. I didn't go by like category. And so I was like, I couldn't stack them on things. My Sims couldn't read them. And then it was like, okay, what if it's like cake? What if it's, it's making this joke that it's cake. And so I like tried to have my Sim eat it. <laughs> And then I got mad because my Sim couldn't eat it. And I was like, how dare you imply it's cake? And then it's not cake. And it wasn't until like I saw someone on Twitter, uh, like talk, like they had a screenshot of the build that they did and I saw it on the wall. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's a shelf. That's a shelf. I was getting really frustrated. And I called this book thing my sworn enemy because I could not figure out what it was. So, you know, just an average day in my life of not understanding it and then taking it very personally. Classic user error, you know, as you do. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed that little um, anecdote of how I don't understand things. <laughs> but uh, like I said, um, it's really gonna be up to you depending on what you like to build, um, whether or not this gate, this pack, or uh, this kit, gosh, I cannot speak, this kit will be worth it. Personally, I like the Grunge Revival kit more than I like the Book Nook kit, which is rare, because usually I like the build kits more than the cast kits when they release them together. Um, but I just, like I said, I feel like because so much of this is the same kind of modular bookshelf, it just feels a little bit more empty and I kind of wish we had more stuff. But I will still use a lot of it a lot of the time. I would say this is probably still high up on the list of build kits that they have done. This and probably the pastel pop kit are probably ones that I would use the most. So I hope you guys enjoy. This will be uploaded onto the gallery by the time this video goes up. Um, it's just gonna be called Book Nook Library. And if I do release the jail version, it'll be Book Nook Library Jail. So you'll have two options because I'm just a very giving person. So anyway, hope you enjoy. <laughs> have a great day and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.